This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes, creators of the world's best repair manuals. Fix your car or truck the right way with our accurate and reliable information at your side. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete online manual at Haynes.com. Fuel pump replacement. Open the rear doors and lower the rear seat backs. Slide the rear seats as far forward as possible. Remove the rear seat mounting nuts. Lift the flaps in the carpet to locate the airbag electrical connectors and disconnect the connectors from the rear seats, then disengage the wiring harness retainers from the brackets. Raise the seat backs and slide the rear seats as far to the rear as possible. Remove the front bolt trim cover from the left side rear seat and remove the bolt. Remove the front bolt trim cover from the center and right side then remove the bolts. Remove the seat headrests and lower the seat backs. With the help of an assistant, remove the rear seats. Remove the fuel filler cap to relieve any pressure built up in the fuel tank. Cut the carpet at the module access cover locations and flip the carpet back to access the fuel pump module cover. Remove the fuel pump module access cover fasteners and cover. Unplug the electrical connector from the fuel pump module to disable the electric fuel pump. Start the engine. It will run momentarily then stall. Crank the engine several more times to ensure the fuel system is completely relieved of pressure. Open the driver's side door and pull the hood release lever located by the kick panel. Pull the hood safety latch forward, then raise the hood. Loosen the cable clamp nut. Insert a flat blade screwdriver between the clamp ends to slightly expand the clamp, then disconnect the cable from the negative terminal of the battery. Once the cable has been disconnected, secure the cable end away from the battery terminal. Clean the area on top of the pump module thoroughly with compressed air or a vacuum cleaner to get rid of all debris. Disconnect the fuel delivery and EVAP line connections from the top of the pump module. Have shop rags handy to soak up any residual fuel leakage. Wipe clean the opening area thoroughly. Using large water pump pliers or equivalent, Loosen the lock ring that secures the fuel pump module. Alternately, use a brass drift to carefully tap the locking ring counterclockwise until it is free. Place a clean drain pan and some shop rags next to the fuel pump module opening in the vehicle. Lift the fuel pump module up and carefully angle the pump module as necessary to disconnect the transfer line at the bottom of the module while draining out the gasoline to allow for removal. Be careful not to bend the float arm and set the module into the drain pan. Lay some shop rags over the opening in the tank to minimize fumes, then remove pan and fuel pump module from the vehicle. Remove the old o-ring and clean the o-ring surface of any fuel that may have been spilled or debris that could fall into the tank. Install a new o-ring onto the tank. Being careful not to bend the float arm, Lower the module partially into the tank and reconnect the transfer line to the port. Align the locking tab correctly, then reinstall the lock ring. Tighten the lock ring completely by using the same method as when it was removed, turning it in the clockwise direction. Reconnect the fuel line and EVAP lines. An audible click should be heard when the safety clip locks into place. Connect the electrical connector to the fuel pump module, then install the fuel pump module cover and tighten the mounting screws securely. With the help of an assistant, place the rear seats back in the vehicle. Install the rear seat front mounting bolts. Tighten the bolts to the specified torque setting.
then reinstall the access covers. Slide the rear seats as far forward as possible. Install the seat rear mounting nuts. Tighten the mounting nuts to the specified torque setting. Then reinstall the access covers. Lift the flap in the carpet to locate the airbag electrical. Reconnect the connectors and the wiring harness retainers to the brackets. Raise the seat backs and slide the rear seats to the rear. Connect the cable to the negative terminal of the battery. Tighten the cable clamp nut securely. Connect the cable to the negative terminal of the battery. Tighten the cable clamp nut securely. 